Brian Wood of Frontline Aerospace. He's going to tell us a little bit about their wing morphing UAV. Your power sources are also pretty interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We chose to take the risk in this design configuration in the configuration and not in the power plant. So we're using established Rolls-Royce model 250 engines, uh, C20B engines, 420 horsepower. And we also wanted to improve the thermal efficiency of the engines itself. So we looked at doing a recuperator, which takes the compressed gas and does a heat exchanger with the exhaust. So you, you raise the temperature of the compressed air going into the combustor. And so you have to squirt less fuel in, and hence you save gas. Uh, theoretically, we can get 50% improvement. Uh, practically, we'll probably get 40% improvement for about 50 pounds worth of weight. And that's a very powerful proposition, which will improve specific fuel consumption and range and payload and a lot of benefits for the UAV. And what kind of technological developments made that recuperator practical? Recuperators have historically been heavy uh, because they've been made out of stainless steel and a plate and fin design. And now there's a couple of technologies that are very attractive, uh, very, very small microtubes, 0.5 millimeter microtubes, uh, where you'd have 40, 50,000 of these little tubes uh, that are in the heat exchanger, and foil laminate technology, where you, in essence, create the same thing in these foils and stack them up. Uh, but all this is a, a patent-pending design that we've done for the Rolls-Royce Model 250 family and also um, for, for gas turbines in, in general. There's a lot of applicability. But the Rolls-Royce family is much easier because you can bolt it on quickly, easily. But if you want to apply the recuperator technology to a new Pratt & Windy engine or something like that, uh, you have to start over. You have to think about it. You have to drill into the engine. It's a lot more work and time. And how are the microtubes fabricated for this? Microtubes are standard uh, surgical needles. Uh, they are they're made all the time for syringes and you can get them on giant spools and different diameters and thicknesses and so forth and you end up uh, cutting them all up and assembling them into a, a header and that's how you implement the, uh, the heat exchanger process.